fix and it was always lit. And today I have this super cool old school clock. instead of snap-on to his logo. So today I'm going to be showing you how to change the background. The first thing we have to do is unplug our clock. Then I noticed there was three screws around the edges so that should probably take off the back. take out the clock adjuster. It looks like it will just come out with the cotter pin. He also asked me to change the wire so it's not in the front and it's at the back. So now I have to cut these two wires because neon is very expensive and very fragile. Now I have to take off my hand. Since this is a clock, instead of going normal way, it has to be backwards, it has to, it has to be counterclockwise. Here's my new clock background. I pulled it off my sponsor's website and put it on a clock face. He's gonna love it. I had to have it printed on sticky paper so it's easier to put on. I'll be back in a couple minutes when it's all put on. It's the next day because the other one wasn't working and I accidentally cut it the wrong way. So I ended up having to get a new one and just cut it in a circle and then put it on. So now I have to reassemble my clock. It's really weird because it's instead of righty tidy lefty loosey, it's righty loosey and lefty. Now that my clock face is on, I have to put the glass cover on. I have to be very careful because of the neon. I had to line it up with this and make sure that the holes are perfectly lined up so I can put in the screws. Since the back 
wants to fall in, I'm going to use pieces of tape to tape it up so it doesn't fall. Now I have to put in my screws. Now I can take off my tape. Now that I'm done with my project, I finally get to see what it looks like all done. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. My sponsor's gonna love it. You have been watching Fixin' It with Zoe Lynn. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you for watching. Bye!